my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about uh, creating your course in under an hour how do you do that how do you create a course a digital course an online course in under an hour how is it possible what are the steps you got to go through to actually make that happen so we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies, techniques, and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now? My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. So creating a course in such a short amount of time is possible there's mind preparation ahead of time and there's other things that has to happen before you can get to the point but doing it is the the most important thing is right is recording it and getting it so that it's distributable so that you can get people to actually get the course and have access to it so I've been wanting to create a course on something I'm working on right now and I thought you know what let's do it let's show you how I'm doing it so that you can figure you can follow along and do the steps as well for your topic so just before we get into that though I want to make sure if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video and uh, the blog post at cis353.jsgagnon.com because that's where because I will be sharing my screen I will be showing you how to do uh, the things I'm going to be showing you what I'm actually the course I'm creating I'm actually going to be creating a course live right now well not live but I mean in this video recording I'm actually going to record a course and then I'm going to take it apart and put it in an actual course you're going to see how I do that so let's go and let's share my screen and just move this over to here and let's just share my screen and kind of show you so first of all to create your course in under an hour right number one is you need you need to know your topic right so I mean uh, you can't just invent a course in an under an hour if you don't even know what you're going to be talking about right so it's got to be something that you're passionate about something that you're comfortable with something you've you've kind of done that you can easily uh, show somebody and something that you'd be ready to just go ahead and you know teach somebody right now right now is, and you're teaching it li you know live kind of live right I mean it's not live because you're recording it then you're going to cut it up but that's kind of what we're doing so we're going to be doing that right now so you need to know your topic number two is you need to be uh you need to uh, be prepared um in terms of your um sections or chapters right in terms of your what how would I how would I say that in terms of your uh, lessons I guess yeah in terms of your lessons so you need to know okay what is it that you're going to be talking about right uh in and and how many lessons you have and those kinds of things you kind of need to have that organized right and for me well actually let's let's do that no, well let's go to number three uh you uh okay number three and this is really all all you have to be able to do it is you need to uh, be technology 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 prepared right so that means you need to have used the tools already you need to understand how to how to record how to be there how to share your screen all these different well whatever it is that you're your course is going to be about you need to be technology prepared if you're not if those things aren't there right now well you won't be able to do it in under an hour because that needs to be done first right you need to get comfortable you need so for me I've been recording videos I've been doing um trainings and and, and things like that for years now so it's easy for me to just jump in and start recording right like for example this weekend I'm going to be helping somebody do exactly what I'm going to do this course about right now that's because I know I kind of know how to do it what to do and I'll be able to help that person but I thought why not create a course so that I can help even more people with this particular task that I want to talk about right so I'm going to be doing that in this session right now so you can see what the purpose the process is okay so let's let's back up now and let's just say what am I doing right so my topic is going to be um so my topic is going to be how to set up a bit clout 
bitcloud node <coughs> how to set up a bitcloud node to uh what's uh, with um yeah let's let's just do that how to set up a bitcloud node and um get blockchain data let's just say that how to set up a bitcloud node and get the blockchain data because that's what most everybody's interested in, in this new social media platform and i'm in right the the bitcloud and they're wanting to know how to get the data out of it because that's the promise and but anyway so let's just say then i need to have let's just uh, do this say that i need to know what are my lessons going to be about right what are going to be lessons first i'm going to have an introduction of course right then i'm going to have a uh you know what is bitcloud and what is bitcloud so where do you get the code right then we're going to talk about uh how to set up a vm for to uh, uh how to set up how to set up <coughs> your environment let's just say how to set up your environment because we need to be able to show them how to set up an environment um how to start well how to so where do you get the code how does where how to get the code right and then how to start your node and then um then what else can we talk about we talk about how to how to access your uh, how to access the data how uh, to access the data so examples of data extraction okay so okay let's just say where do you get the code so how to set up your environment say so what tools what tools will you need <clears throat> okay so I'm gonna talk about that too so that's kind of what I'm so and I'm just going on, on the fly right now and this is one of the things I'm saying when do it within an hour so we're just seven minutes in and I'm including the explanation of how to create your course so I mean if I I'm, and I'm doing this right now I'm just thinking about it kind of thinking about it right so examples so let's just say I want a conclusion as well and um, I'm not even sure usually I always put an introduction and a conclusion I don't really know necessarily what goes in the conclusion it kind of comes to me as I'm doing the course right and but and obviously you could you could be doing this a lot more um organized right a lot more prepared and a lot you could be spinning oh that's not introduction eh? introduction you could be doing a lot more to prepare and a lot more to do but this is kind of what this is this is the simplest the fastest way to do it right <clears throat> and then the technology uh to be prepared is uh personally I use OBS to record I use Windows movie maker to split up pieces then I use um click click e-course to host the course right and uh and that's it that's I think that's it right um so OBS to record videos video and share screen right because I'm sharing the screen right now and I'm recording right now and this is the episode I'm doing right now and now all that right that's all kind of part of it that that's because I'm used to it and these are tools if you want to create your own course that you can go and get OBS is open broadcaster software so open broadcaster software is something you get for free it works on on Windows on Mac on Linux and I'm on I'm on Microsoft Windows Windows 10 and I got movie maker um, I don't think it's available anymore for Windows 10 like as part of the OS there's plenty of other tools to do to do this you can even do it in in in, uh, in YouTube if you want you can actually upload your video to YouTube and then in YouTube you can cut up the pieces right in there I've not done that myself but I'm sure you can find tutorials on how to do that and then hosting the course after you've created all the little videos of each of the lessons you need a place to put those into an organized course right I use Click eCourse because that's the, the course hosting platform I created. All right, so let's let's get started. First, 
let's uh actually should i just so i should just do the course right i should just do the course right now that's kind of the purpose of this because i was saying you can create a course in under an hour so let's just do the course right now so let me and and here's the other thing you want to be doing is you want to be taking notes of uh when in your recording like right now i'm looking at the time it says 10 minutes 20 seconds inside of this recording right this main recording so you want to take notes of when you started talking about a particular topic and when you end it so i'm just going to put on here number one so intro right intro introduction that's <clears throat> introduction so i just wrote that down on the little little stick of note uh, obviously i can have a piece of paper or a pad or whatever and maybe i should take my notebook out but anyways whatever so you will want to remark right now so i'm going to actually record the introduction right now i'm actually going to do that right now and let me just mark the time because it will be around this time right so 11 11 05 all right so let's just do the introduction so let's do that and I'm going to do the introduction the recorded because I'm going to cut it out let's go back to my webcam put my webcam right in front here and it's in front because I'm watching it so I'm going to record the introduction and we're going to get that done hey how's it going my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon welcome to the BitCloud node setup course in this course we're going to talk about how to set up your node we're going to talk about how to actually i have uh, notes here let me just go back to my notes so that i see what i'm talking about so we're going to talk about what is bitcloud you know where do you get where do you get the code we're going to talk about where you get the code we're going to talk about what tools you need to set up your node you're going to talk about how to set up your environment um how to get the code how to start your node how to get the data out of there and we're going to show you examples of data extractions right so that's what we're going to be doing to right now and in the next lesson so go to the next lesson now right so there you go so that's my recorded uh, uh introduction so 12 10 or so right so the introduction that's the introduction I probably could have been a little bit more prepared I could probably redo it but right now I just kind of want to show you that it's possible to do it real quick like this so let me just uh, do yeah so that introduction so now let's go to number two we said what is bitcloud so number two in my course right number two is uh, i'm not going to write i'm just going to say i'm going to start it around 12 45. okay so we're going to talk about what is bitcloud so in, okay let's so i'm just going to start right now okay so what is bitcloud you might be wondering why do i care what is bitcloud what is it where why would i want to set up a node so bitcloud is a decentralized social media platform built on the blockchain so what does that mean if you look at a facebook linkedin twitter instagram all those platforms are all monopolies owned by those companies so whenever you post anything on there whether that content gets seen whether they whether they choose to keep it to delete it to to share it whether they show it in the in the you know main feed or not all those things they're all decided by that company not by you and not by anybody else not by the community it's really just based on algorithms so they control it all and they could just shut you down delete your account no control you don't have any control with the blockchain that is no longer possible because the data is public everybody has access to it so that data that you post you can actually go get it you can actually host it someplace else you can actually share it in a different way you can actually organize it in a different way you can actually create different feeds you can create different ways of showing things and that's the power of decentralization and the blockchain and that's also based on cryptocurrencies let me share on my screen here let me show you what the uh, bitcloud ui looks like let me just share that right over here in case you don't know the bitcloud ui is just a bit uh, a ui you just go to bitcloud.com right and you just set up an account it just kind of looks like a twitter feed right it looks like a twitter feed and it's basically images and videos and text right now actually videos is brand new they just did that today and it shows you on the side here you can see there's creator coin there's coins everybody gets their own coin right they you get your own coin because it is a cryptocurrency based it's blockchain based so that means that actions 
have to be added to the blockchain and that requires mining just the same as other cryptocurrencies there needs to be computers that are powerful enough to figure out algorithms and there's there's a whole process it's it's blockchain based blockchain technology but it's a social media platform that you can go and create your own account like me I create an account by now I've got 1255 followers my coin price is 207 dollars by the way your coin starts at zero but this is what the bitcloud is now all these posts all this data all the price of coins the purchases all these different things they're all in the blockchain and setting up a node allows you to access all that and that's what we're going to be talking about in the next uh, video there you go so that's a number two that ended at what at 1540 or so <clears throat> and then what's the next one the next one was uh where do you get the code all right so where do you get the code so we're going to show you again the, on the screen here we're going to talk about <coughs> uh, where you get the code and how to how to access it so let's just do that um let me see da, 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 da. Um, okay right so we're going to go back to there mm, let's go back to my webcam 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 let's go back to my webcam put that back over here and then let's start number three is starting at 16 15 or, or 20. Say 1620 okay so all right so now you might be wondering okay where do you get this code that is that like easy to find and yes it is so let me just share my screen again let me show you where you can find that code and how easy it is to find so if you're on oh sorry I gotta share my screen so if you're on the bitcloud network you've got your own account there you've got it set up you go to home right here and then you can go to global and so basically every day you want to look at global you want to see what's going on in here based its posts it's basically the global feed is is the post that are, are are that you might not be following right and then there's a following tab right here which shows you who you're following but what you'll notice is that there's going to be a couple of times where they're going to be posts by that are going to be um a pinned with a little blue bar right there that means that this is a post that's pinned by one of the developers or one of the uh, um, leaders of the bitcloud uh, movement themselves right one of the creators and there's a few different ones right so i mean um right now we're seeing this because it's a video that just got released but the other thing is you're going to want to go through this and find at some point you're going to find certain things so i know uh because i saw that just a few days ago i know that my beam which is one of the leaders one of the, crew, the developers she posted something on the site so you want to go look at Mabim and you want to go look at diamond diamond hands diamond hands both of them post things that have to do with the uh, bitcloud so like for example diamond hands a couple days ago two days ago he posted about the bitcloud public exchange api that he that was published a few days before that he talked about is it in here no I guess it's Mabim that talked about the other stuff let's go back to Mabim so just basically looking up Mabim and Diamond Hands are the two main accounts that you want to look at there's other ones obviously but you see that there's a bunch of links here that's showing you where to get the stuff so this is uh docs and over here is github.com bitcloud right so those are the two places we're going to want to go so you're going to want to go to one of these when you go there you end up on the bitcloud Git, github this is you know this is not bit this is not owned by bitcloud this is the github domain where everybody posts post stuff they posted so far five different projects that is the code for that you need to to run and to run your node and everything else right so the the main thing you need is the run here which is the project to actually set up your node so that's where you're going to find the code you need an account on github which is free so just go ahead and create an account if you don't have one you're gonna have to do a uh, sign up just create an account and then after that you're going to be able to access this code and you're going to be able to download it and we're going to show you how to do that in another video all right so that's the end of this one so we're at 15 where are we we're at 19 20 okay so number four now the next one where's my where's my nose my nose is okay the next one is we're talking about what how to set up uh what tools will you need okay i'm going to talk about the tools that they need to be able to set up all this and um yeah so let's just talk about the tools that they need let's go back to the 
webcam well actually I'm not going to go back I'm just going to go like this I'm going to start recording right now so number four is tools and it's starting at 1958 all right okay so now we're talking about let's talk about the tools so now you've gotten access to uh, github you found the 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 repos you found the posts and you're on here and you're like okay what do I need right what do I need to be able to do this now you're going to need um, a place to host the node you're going to need tools like for example you're going to need um, tools let's let's actually uh, create I should probably have done a um let me show you here I've got this you can see this in the background here this is actually my node let's go over here and let's go and start so I need uh, tools mm, tools okay let's just do that so first you'll need um you'll need a git you'll need uh you'll need git you'll need um jq you'll need docker uh and then you might need so you don't you don't absolutely need oh you need docker yeah sorry we also need docker compose compose this is kind of small isn't it let's see if I can make this bigger I make this bigger no that's just going to zoom in my <laughs> I didn't want to do that so let's just do this I just want this can I do I don't even know if I can do this terminal mm, view zoom in ah there let's do that again zoom in let's make it nice and big so you can actually see what I'm talking about zoom in there we go okay so so those are the so you need git jq docker now if you're not a developer you might be all confused about all this stuff so if if this is something that you're not sure about you you might need more um knowledge before you get into this but if you've done a little bit of development a little bit of setup you'll be fine okay so those are the those are the four main things that you need now number five if you want to do more you're going to need n uh, you're going to need node.js which is npm and node and you're going to need number six you're going to need angular angular which is uh, well anyways that's a tool for for node and it allows you for uis and things like that so those are the tools you're going to need if you want to go all in and you want to go all the way and there's more things obviously that in like a database and other things like that but that's going to get you really started and so we're going to get to um using those and setting up your node in the next video okay so that's that one there so that's a 2230 2230 number five number five is what number five was let's go back here we have how to set up your environment now that one uh, anyways so that's fine let's just talk about that number five is set up your environment and set up okay let me see what am I going to talk about here 2023 okay set up setting up your environment so I guess I'm kind of thinking um vm docker os all this stuff okay so let's just uh, say let's just say that oops wrong one uh, what's going on here can I I can resize this so it fits the screen Uh, it looks like my oh there you go something's happening here I think I need to let's let's do that I'm just trying to get this sized up properly for the display because well, I guess that's not working is it why well, is this not working oh probably because it it doesn't want the size oh yeah there you go it's, it's it's getting there just such a big screen oh we're getting there <laughs> sorry about that this is and this is obviously what I'm doing right now is not part of the doing a course under through under an hour right this is just me preparing things which I wasn't fully prepared but that's okay so now let's say we have uh, tools right we're saying whoops <laughs> my computer screen okay so let's say we have tools we need these tools so preparing the environment is basically getting those available right so let's talk about preparing the environment let's go here let's start okay so we have 23 35 30 38 23 38 
okay so to prepare your environment obviously you're going to need to install these tools somewhere so depending on what kind of um pc you have and whether you have a, a cloud account on aws so i'm not going to go into all that because really the, all of that is um it, it, it's going to be different for everybody right but the basics is if you have a mac you can just uh, go to the terminal and you can do uh, the install commands for those things if you're not sure how to install them uh you'll have to go do in google search installing you know git on mac or installing git on windows or installing git on linux just just do that uh, because i'm not going to go into the details because that is stuff that uh should is based on sh you should have as knowledge or if not like i said you can always google it it's not that hard to do but let's say you're doing like me and you have a virtual host i have a virtual host and this is one of my vms i have on there and this is what i'm looking at i basically just created a new vm and i installed the os on it and now i've got um accessing that machine right here right so that's where i'm at right now i've got the machine i've got the tools and that's what you got to do so you got to do like you know if i want to install on this machine i would do sudo yum install git right i already have git so it's um i already have git installed so it's going to tell me it's already installed right but you got to install those tools and uh, it'll just say yeah i already have it right so i already have it right it says back is already installed but that's that's on linux on uh on the os that you have but the idea is you got to make sure whoops let's do that again cat tools so you got to make sure you install those tools if you're on linux it's basically a, a on centos it'd be yum install or dnf or whatever it is so you install git you install jq you install docker you install docker compose and then if you want you to have npm and the rest of the stuff for more advanced things which we might cover a little bit if we have time you might want to install node.js and angular and that's that's what you need to do to set up your environment you gotta have a place where you can run those commands to get the code and start your node so let's get to that right now okay so that's up to 2705 all right so now let's go to the next thing we're almost there how to get the code getting the code so we're going to talk about getting the code now so I'm actually going to do that right that I'm going to do I'm going to show you exactly how to do that and I'm actually going to do it uh, right now and uh, yeah let's get right to that all right so where were we number six is get the code get the code so that's at 2735 so we're not even close to an hour yet right half an hour and we haven't even okay so sorry all right so to get the code it's really just as simple as first going to a github right so we have github where's my github github is right over here so we have the code in github so you basically go to the bitcloud so you, right now all you really care about is the node so you want the node it's going to be under run and then you just click on this and you say um ssh copy the code there oh and by the way to set up to be able to do that you need to have an ssh key so let's do that um if i do this uh, well there's a command you do ssh key gen that will create an ssh key for you after you've run that you're going to want to do uh dot ssh id dot pub so that key there is a public key so you're going to need to take this key which is going to be your key for your um your access to github you're going to go in here you're going to go under here under uh where is it under settings i think is it settings right there under settings right and then in here there is a c ssh and gpg keys so you're going to want to add a key click on new ssh key and you paste that in there and now that allows you to copy using ssh anyway so that's basic uh git uh, knowledge uh the, the if you're not familiar with that but anyway so once you've done that you can go like this you can copy this as ssh right here and if you don't have that key you can use hps the thing with that is it asks you for user and password and whatever i rather have just the ssh i copy that and then i go in here and i say let's just do it right now so mkdir course 
so let's go to the course and I'm actually going to do get clone I uh, don't think that's going to be in here I'm, because it's a different computer but let's go over here and let's go to my beam mm, no that didn't work M A M A E B there you go go to her because I didn't do the right thing okay and then if I go to here I want to go into my github github right here oh I should have done that in the new tab oh I guess it does do it okay good so I'm going to go there and I'm going to go get the I'm not signed in so let me see if I can sign in here I don't know if this computer has my password in there or not whoops uh, sign in no that's not it what's my password well that's just the save one no I don't know I don't want this is, I don't have the password okay well anyways you do this uh let's do it from the other I have a connection here which is the same computer so let's do a git clone with uh, this right in here right which is bitclout can you see it no you can't see it let me make this the right size here so this is the screen we have let's go back to here make this kind of see it all there we go okay so we have our git clone the command right there I just do that and I press enter and that'll copy the node stuff into this directory if I look at this directory now I have a folder called run I go into that folder and I look in here and there's a docker compose and there's different things like that there's a readme but the basics is doing a run so now I have already set up a node so I'm actually going to do a I'm actually just going to edit this because you won't have to do that by the way you don't need to do this I'm just doing this because I already have a node running on this computer I want to make sure that I don't reuse the same database so I'm actually going to go and change the database right here db course okay so that's going to create a brand new database I think the rest is fine oh the ports hmm yeah that's gonna well I, I guess I that's okay I'll just it's a database is fine I'm just gonna kill my current running uh, machine so I'm just gonna stop it right here it's you, I'll show you how that works in a second but let's just go back to here let's wait for it to finish it's almost done he's stopping everything there you go that one stopped so there's it runs three different processes when you're trying to when you're running a node there's the front end the back end which is called core and then NGIX is the web the web front end redirector thing if you want to if you if you're not familiar with that okay so there we go so now we have this now all I got to do is run that's it I just type run and it's going to start the name oh he says that there's already a named volume in use by service core that's weird why is he doing that I created a new database volume name uh sorry I'm uh, let me pause the video let me fix that because there's no point in doing this all right so I think I've got it sorted out so this is basically what you do after you've got the code you just type run like this and it starts up no it's still giving me the same error okay I figured out the problem is because I I made a change to this which you won't do by the way that won't happen to you but the problem is because I made a change I forgot to update both uh, locations so if I just do run it'll start the uh, node and it'll basically go and get the latest code from the from where the storage and then it'll start to run your node and the first thing it does is it actually will get blocks so you can see right here it's saying got bitcoin block and then eventually you're going to start to see other things it'll talk about um uh, syncing your actual blockchain data do we see it yet not yet so it's still getting the bitcoin blocks it won't be too too long it'll start to uh, do the rest let's see is there anything else happening so we got core got ngix is happy we got the front end started over here uh, serving initial configuration so he's all happy with everything 
and uh, so now it's just waiting to load the data so we're going to get in talk about that in the next video but that's basically all you got to do to start it sorry about all the mess up I had but that like I said that's because I already had it running I needed to make sure I wasn't running it with the same data I wanted to show you what happens when you first load it so let's pause it I'll come back and show you what the logs start to look like after this all right so eventually you're going to start to see this after it first gets connected to the node you're seeing connecting block I guess we don't oh yeah there you go see the numbers that are showing up right here 39 4000 so the first you know four or five thousand blocks are pretty small so that's why it's so fast in the beginning there's about eight thousand blocks but yeah so now let's talk about the UI in uh, we'll go to the UI in a second okay so that's the end of this section which I actually ended up doing two sections 35 30 so I ended up doing two sections I realized I need this was basically two of them I put them together how to get the code how to start your node those are put together in the one right here which I got in my notes which were wrong uh, but yeah so we're at 35 minutes now so the next one is which I forgot to put in my initial list is how to access the front end so we're going to show you how to access the front end uh, I'm going to do the, the lesson I guess I'm saying let's do that over here I got this number eight is ac say front front end that's going to start at let's say 36 <coughs> 36 15. all right so now we're going to talk about accessing the front end uh right okay so we're going okay so now you want to see the front end right as it's getting the data you want to see how uh what it looks like right so what you got to do is you got to go in your browser and you want to access bitclout bitclout.me right bitcloud.me is uh going to go to your uh local computer your local it's it's a local host whatever but that's your node right now you see my node I'm logged in I've got these accounts that don't exist yet because the blockchain as you can see right now showing the price of 50 dollars it's showing Elon Musk has 30,000 it's showing if I look at the 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 there's no following but uh let's see if I go to by default you'll be able to access the admin which will show you this and if you go to network right here you see where it's at there's a this is how many blocks are left the last block is 19,369 and when we look at the output right here let's see if I look at this output right here we can see that we're on block 9,000 um so it's saying there's 10,000 left so see we're on block 9,000 there's 19,000 blocks and it's going and you can see right here where it's connected to uh, which node it's got so this is one of the things inbound outbound so when it when you first start your node it needs to connect to some place in the network and that has a copy of the blockchain to start to get data from and as it as it as it continues to 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 be alive it starts to go and get more and more data uh, from different nodes so it, it it speeds up right but in the beginning it's going to like right now it's got only two but that's basically what it is and what you're going to be able to do what else can we talk about um what you're going to be able to do once you're once you're once you're fully synced this will change to your node is fully synced and then you're going to be able to start using the functionality of the ui to create your own um your own front end your own feed there's all this it's all documented in the readme if I go back to bitcloud right here if I look at the readme it talks about all this right it says how that works how the node work everything and there's even documentation as well by the way on all this and but that's that's essentially uh, that's as simple as that you get the UI you just go here go to the, then the mempool is supposed to be the transactions that have been uh, created on your node but we don't worry about that right now we just want to show you that under profiles under posts you can see actually the posts that are here and these are old posts because the, the nodes the data is coming in this is like if I was C it says 37 days right so it's it's loading up the very first post from the blockchain and it's showing them and they're all going to be available in the UI here you have the same UI as bitcloud.com but it's actually your own uh node right so that's what's going on right now let's go back to here so as you can see it's getting the nodes 9000 9000 9000 so we're going to show you in the next video 
uh what happens when you fully synced and how to use that for other for other data access from the back end and how to do that all right in the next video so that's that so we're at 30 where are we 39 45 okay so that's that one there what's next in my course so like I said this is how I'm creating a course right I'm, I'm recording these different little pieces and then I'm going to take this full video which would be about an hour probably or because we're at 40 minutes and I'm going to cut out those pieces so when I say it takes you an hour I'm not saying everything takes an hour but creating the content can be done within an hour if you follow this simple kind of process right where you kind of basically decide on your course you know your you know your topic and then you talk about the different things right now we're at access how to access the data so we're going to talk about how to access the data in the next lesson and actually what I'm going to do for that is I'm actually going to shut down this node and I'm going to start up my real node and we're going to show you how to access the data from there so let's shut that down now this is not part of the course right now because well actually maybe I should be uh, talking about this in the course so let's do that let's actually put that in the course so number nine say back end back end data okay so I'm gonna go to there and this will be right here starting at 41 41 two okay all right so now let's talk about accessing the back end data so what I did right now is I stopped this new node that I'm that I'm setting up that you would you need to wait for this to finish but I'm actually going to go back to my real node that I have and I'm going to run my node and uh it's going to start my my actual node uh front end connect with all oh, oh, right I that sorry that's because I so I've got to do a docker ps so I got to do a removal of these names core docker so this is something that you won't have to do uh, but I'm doing it because I have I ran two different instances uh, and then I'm going to just do our um, uh, front end okay so now now I've st so I've stopped and cleaned up this this other test instance I was doing I'm starting up my main one and it's just going to start up <coughs> and it's going to run the main core now there is one thing <coughs> that I <coughs> sorry there is one thing that I uh I'm doing on my node because I want to make sure that it's nobody tries to post on it because by the way if you make your node public using a DNS record and all these different things which we're not going to cover here but if you do that you uh anybody can hit your node and log into it right so I want to make sure that I'm the only one that or nobody can post anything because right now they're not read on so what do I do with that is I go back into here and I do an update uh, from uh, right node so I get the uh, files here so this is the unminify this thing copy that this is a separate whoops what's going on here all oh, right I'm actually in the wrong let's go back to here let's go back to here where is it right over here let's go in here let's go screen let's copy that unminify this right so unminify this copy that this is something completely not needed for you but I do that in here uh, load url I want to get to this file uh, so that it's uh, so I can edit it I unminify this is another this is a tool <clears throat> that allows you to take some min, what they call minified javascript code and then generate a readable more or less right readable code so that you can start you can make some edits to it so that's kind of what I do I take that and I'm un, unminify it and then I download it let's just after it's, then I download it and I just want to call it main I'm going to download it and I'm going to save it into my <clears throat> folder right over here which I already have I'm gonna uh yep that's the right folder I save it replace it and then I just press enter and it updates the page okay so that don't worry about that you don't really need oh I pressed uh, I I clicked the tab okay so now now this is my domain as you see right here it's bitcloudpros.com if I go back here I go to the home and then I go into admin you can see that if I go to my tab now if I go to the network tab uh, 
you see it says fully synced right that's because it's gone through the whole process it's synced up everything now it's all fully synced so now what can we do with this data now I'm not going to show you like in the pro in the in the actual UI there's you can't do much more than what you can do with their normal bitcloud.com uh, domain but once you have the data in the back end you can do some pretty cool stuff now first of all um <clears throat> there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do but I I there's a couple things that I did like for example you can get all of the uh the, that's not where I did it okay so let's just go back to here okay right over here so here's the other thing so I went and I got all the code for every single one of those repos that are here right if I go back to bitcloud right here so bitcloud so if I go back to bitcloud you see there's identity oh look at that hd key that's new they just did that right now so I did all this identity I don't have yet but I do have docs run explorer and desktop so I just got all those right oh identity I have okay so inside of explorer because explorer is actually a uh, a tool to access the data I started creating scripts in here let's just look at the scripts I got I got a parse JSON transactions uh yes I grab message well, actually let ls start out as h right okay whoops so these are the scripts I have so so I've done a few of them so I created a, a, a script to, to so that it's easy for me to show you but you can do parse um get user post let's use that one this is one of the things if I look at this script it's very simple all it is is whoops I guess you can't oh let's do that let's get let's see vi get user okay so this script is basically all it is is it asks for the username you want or you can pass it as an argument but the, what it does is it just it just does this it goes to slash get profiles and then it passes all this so you you need to have that but that's let me show you what that gives you so if I do this get user posts let's say uh, Jean-Serge Gagnon right and I'll just do a less on this so it basically goes and gets all my data uh it looks pretty crazy right but let's say um let me show you for example if I do this <clears throat> uh actually that saves it to a file so it's this file here let's just remove this post because I okay let's do that let's do that again and let's make it yeah so that okay so okay so now I have two look at that it's two megs right two megs of data that I've been posting all my posts are in there so if I look at this um it's basically a bunch of looks like a bunch of junk right but if I do this using a tool called jq now it kind of looks you can kind of see okay profiles found there's because I asked for one profile it's so this is my public key right this is my username and then this is my profile so I've got my description that's there and I've got my this is my profile picture right here it's all data right it's all like basics for encoded whatever but if I scroll down a little bit after the after the image this is where it starts to get interesting I can see right here whether uh here and then this is an array right here of all the posts right so I can see right in here I can see look at that I posted logo options for BizCloud virtual summit um what's your favorite I had images right here an image so this is a url to an image right I can actually go I can actually take this and I can actually see what that image is copy let's go over to here I actually go to that and I can actually get that image right this is the image I posted this is actually the image I posted and the other thing is if I keep let's say I go down to the very last one which will be the first post I did actually these are coin entries another image Okay, so let's say body let's 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 go I don't know who that was but and this is the thing you can see all these 
and you know then the thing is that as a you need to be a programmer to kind of be able to do something with that but that's this is this is insane this is the data it's all there all the data from you posting like me posting since uh march 31st which when i got my account it's all there and i can do that for anybody i can do i can get the post for anybody any account i want right um diamond diamond hands i can actually get the diamond hands um diamond hands account right so if i look at what i got diamond hands oh i guess he doesn't have a lot of posts <laughs> 143 so he didn't post a lot or at least not as much as me anyways and that that makes sense but i can uh, any anyway, like i said you can get anybody's account you can get their their posts not that it's you know that you would necessarily want that but you can go and find things like coin purchases you can go find uh transactions and transfers you can go there's private messages available everything well i mean they're encoded but you can see the when they were sent who they were sent to that kind of stuff right but it's all there that's how you get the data all right we'll see we'll do the next video all right so that was until 50 or around there and let's see what's my what's what is it examples of data extraction i guess that was part of it uh how to access the data maybe i should do that was really examples of data extraction right i don't know <laughs> they didn't really do this right and then the conclusion let's do the conclusion let's do the conclusion the conclusion i'm just going to use the webcam and i'm going to go back to here and let's do the conclusion let's start the conclusion number 11 is conclusion and that's 51 okay all right so that's how you get your node set up how you access the data how you get the code how do you prepare your environment that's how you do it for a bit cloud and then you have access to all the blockchain now you can expand on that there's lots of people on there there's a discord group you might want to go check out um let me show you the discord uh group where i have that someplace let me share my screen and get you the discord group share the screen yeah so as a conclusion to this let's just go to discord discord.com uh i'm not sure if that's i guess i have to log in i thought i would be automatically logged in okay i gotta log in i think it's gonna log in automatically yeah so i'm on discord i have this is this is one of the channels i don't know how that works if i if i send you this link um this shows you uh what people are talking about there's lots of people talking about the node even you see Mabim is right on here she's the the develop one of the developers right and she's actually posting she's actually there you see right here she posted right here uh so you know this stuff is real it's happening um how to get to this thing let's show you if you go to bitcloud and you find Mabim you're going to see she posted at some point right over here this link right here join the community on discord is this is where you're going to find it you click on that link it'll um create an account on discord you're going to be able to talk to people on there uh about that if i reload this there might have that thing they just posted might be there i don't know what it is is it her that posted it let's see developers document integrating with bitcloud no okay let's go just for fun let's go to home as i'm recording right now so you can see do we have anything new right here still the video anything new anything new video video no they didn't even talk about it yet but they posted something new hd key hd key definitely want to look she's the one that posted it 17 hours ago oh, i don't know what is this hd key javascript component for bip and oh okay so that's to anyways but that's and that's happening it's going it's becoming live so hopefully you are uh, excited about this as much as i am let me just go back to the webcam here and you're going to get your own node set up and hopefully this little tutorial helped you and if you want to reach out there's going to be links probably and you're going to be able to reach out send me messages or maybe find me on discord find me on bitcloud find me on other platforms and send me a message saying hey i got this question can you do something about can you show me about this 
all right so we'll see you in the next episode or next video there we go so that's the end of it 54 so look at that we've done all our course we've created our whole course in under an hour but the next step is using a tool to split the pieces out put them in the course so let me show you um, the platform that I hosted on a clicky course so let's go back to my desktop here so I of course have a platform that I use you can use lots of other platforms to host your course you can even create you can just even just put them on YouTube and and share links to each of the videos in an email you send to people right there's you don't really have to have a platform necessarily but the the thing about using a platform is that it's organized and it's easy and people get used to it so I'm just going to go over here you can actually register a free account on here uh you just click on register like this right register instead and you can just use your Facebook to register in my case I'm already registered so if I click on this it'll just log me in right so that's the same thing registration is successful reload so I'm logged in to my own site and over here I would just go in here I would go to courses or actually I don't need to do that I can just go on here I can click on the plus and I can create a new course a new course and this is going to be the course what is the course we said the course was going to be it's going to be how to set up bitcloud node and get blockchain data right that's my course I'm going to create the course I'm going to do this and in the summary I'm going to say learn how you can set up your own bitcloud node to access all the blockchain blockchain data so you get control of it all so <clears throat> see follows posts likes coin transactions and 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 all other in your own node okay so <clears throat> I'll show you show you show you how to get the code set up your node so this is not obviously the, then this is part of creating of course you need to have a, a place to host it and this I'm I'm just writing off the top of my head but I, you can always go back and edit this right so I'm going to say set up your node um uh set up your tools learn about the data in the blockchain so there's more to it than what I did right but this was the basics I click on next over here uh, I'm not going to worry about search engine keywords or hashtags right now but we could obviously and then uh, header code footer code we're not going to put that in there yet <clears throat> so this is going to be main category is going to be let's say uh, let's make this bit cloud because really is bit cloud advanced topics and it's going to be let's make uh, cryptocurrency cryptocurrencies has to be in there too um yeah anyways, that's fine for now I'm just going to do that choose a file so what do I put in here your own node I don't know there must be some sort of a an image I can use right but I don't really have an image uh I don't know what could I use what could I use anyways I'll just do uh I'll just go and get one of these images I have in here <clears throat> uh, under here I've got a logo for bitcloud so there's a logo for bitcloud near the bottom bitcloud logo let's just use that one for now price is zero it's free uh allow download sure uh, embedded no access I'm going to make it unlisted for now once I'm happy with it I will make it available and I'm going to make it available on all the sites all right done so that's going to create the basics of the course now I need to create lessons so just click on the plus right here introduction uh, save that for now add another lesson I'm going to make this one what did we say the next one was what is bitcloud right 
what is bitcloud save that add another lesson the other one is where do you get the code right where do you get the code <clears throat> the other one is and you know obviously we don't have to go through this whole thing but uh that's basically the creation of it once you have these right so now we can create them all I go back to the course and I can see that I have these lessons right in the course right they're all saying zero there's no video but once I've created the video I've edited the video and created all the little pieces that I'm going to cut out of this long video then I'm gonna actually going to go in here I'm just going to click on this edit right here and I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to enter a link uh probably video YouTube link right so if I upload it or I can just upload the video directly from my computer depending on the account the, the free account though won't let you upload you have to you have to use a YouTube so you can upload to YouTube and then you can use your YouTube link right here to put the video in like if I was to go to to my YouTube account right YouTube <coughs> uh YouTube imagine that's kind of crazy youtube.com if I go to my own account right and I look at my YouTube studio and I go into any of these videos let's say for example I've uploaded them all to YouTube right all right they'll show up here in my content and I'm going to have all these different things so let's say for example I have one of these little videos I did for welcoming virtual summit I'm going to get shareable link I'm going to go in here and I'm going to put the link right here and I'm going to save it now that's going to that's going to put that video right into my course and uh, in a few seconds you're going to see it show up just to give it a second because it's got to get the thumbnail and things like that so now it's getting the thumbnail it's downloading the video downloading the audio and if I go back to the course now now I have my introduction that is a video right now it says a minute 36 so I can also change the thumbnail you can go back to edit this and you can change the image by choosing an image you want to put let's say I put the bitcloud what is this nodes I don't know Uh, I have a whole bunch of uh, messages here transactions let's just get my my bitcloud logo again bitcloud logo youtube no I just put that one there but that's not anyways but if I do that and I save it now now it's going to show that as the thumbnail for that course that's kind of how you do it if I go back to the course again now you see that I have that image there as the thumbnail for this and you can choose an image from within the video so if I do this let's say I want to have five thumbnails I'm just going to click on generate thumbnails so that it gives me the thumbnails I can choose it should uh, I don't know if it's maybe it wasn't maybe it wasn't uh yeah there you go so yeah I have these different videos I can choose these different thumbnails let's choose this one I click on that and then I just oops go back to here now instead of that uploaded video that uploaded image it'll be that that thumbnail that I chose right go back to the course so you can do that um, with all the lessons you choose the thumbnail you want obviously you want to have a um a proper uh subject and a description and whatever right for each of them um and that's that's how you create a course in under an hour <laughs> right that's it so we're at an hour now but let's uh, cut this and we'll see you in the next episode have yourself a great day this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time